Hi everyone. Here is a short video to show you the basic process of how to update the main and DSP firmware version of Yesu's DR2X repeater. You'll just need the SCU20 cable and something to flip the switches inside the unit. The switches are accessible through the two grommets at the top of the case, but if you don't have the LAN card, you won't need to worry about the grommet and the switch in the back. To give you a better look, I removed the case. At the front, the switch is still recessed inside the body of the receiver unit, and here's a close-up view of that. Here's the LAN switch in the back. When you do these updates, the instructions have you flip the switch to the right, putting it into normal mode. Before you actually perform the update, power on the repeater and press setup to check your firmware versions. You can see here that mine were at the top, RX 1.51, and in the center, DSP 5.02. I'm updating it to 1.58 and 5.03. Once you're ready, go find your update program called RX Main and double click it. Select the COM port that you're using, then click update. And you'll be prompted with the same instructions as the manual provides. If you're good to go, press OK. The actual update takes about a minute, and I sped it up here, so here's a little bit of music to pass the time. Now you can turn the repeater off, flip the switches back to the original positions, and fire up the repeater to verify the main firmware version is updated. If everything looks good, you're ready to do the DSP portion. Navigate to the PC Tool application and run it. And it will take you through the same process of selecting your COM port and verifying the instructions. This time you don't have to do the main switch but you do have to do the LAN switch if it's installed. While it's updating, have another listen. There you have it. Power the repeater off, and if you have the LAN card, flip that switch back to LAN, power it back on, and verify your DSP version. If all is well, you're ready to repeat. Well, don't repeat the firmware update process, but repeat signals. I hope you enjoyed this overview of the DR2X firmware update. Again, follow the actual Yesu instruction manual, not this video, but I hope this gave you a good idea of what the process looks like. It's easy and should only take you about 20 or 30 minutes. Thanks for watching. Your reward is some more music, but set to birds.